Hi, and happy birthday, Mike, from all of us here. Yes, we are here. So excited to come to Scratch Kitchen. Usually, Becky, the owner, joins us on our SA Life set, but we get to come to you today. This thank beautiful you. Victorian home. Oh, yeah. We're housed here. Well, we love it when you visit. Thank you for coming. Yes. And, and you have a great summer recipe. Yes. What are we making? So we are showing off our green goddess dressing. This is in one of our sandwiches that is our seasonal summer sandwich. And we call it the green gobbler. So it's turkey, Havarti, cucumber lettuce, avocado, and the green goddess dressing on homemade honey oat sourdough bread. Ooh. Wait, wait, homemade? Homemade. And then what is it, honey oat sourdough, honey oat sourdough bread? Oh, sounds mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, thank you. It's a new recipe for us. The bread as well is new. Okay. Um, so this recipe is great for summer. It's kind of like summer in a bowl, really bright, lots of herbs. Um, it's versatile, so you can use it as a dip, put it on a sandwich. If you were to thin it out with a little bit of water, you could drizzle it over a salad. Um, as I said, we use it in our sandwich, and we're going to show you how to make it. Okay. Super simple. A lot of our recipes are very few ingredients. I think less is more if you're using good, wholesome ingredients. You get great results. And it's healthy. I mean, we're not our, our goal is not always to be healthy, but we're using good ingredients and it ends up being very wholesome and healthy. Yes. Um, so we have, we're gonna dump everything into the food processor. I have a little bit of yogurt. We use Greek 2% yogurt, um, but this is also really customizable. So if you have a different type of yogurt, go ahead and use it. Um, we put in some mayo. If you don't have the mayo, you can do all yogurt, or if you don't like mayo, you can do all yogurt. Uh, you said it adds to it. I think it adds to the can creaminess, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, we're gonna dump in the basil. Cilantro. This recipe a lot of times is typically made with just basil, but I love cilantro and um, I think it adds kind of a San Antonio twist, so we threw it in. That's salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, and we're going to squeeze in half of the lemon. And again, really customizable, so if you don't have a lemon, you could toss in a lime, you could substitute the herbs. If you don't like cilantro, you can maybe throw in a little bit of dill or some other herb that you like. Very simple. Yeah, all, really all simple. The ingredients. Okay, this is a little loud. We're going to blend it up. Okay, so we blend until it's nice and smooth. It's got a beautiful color, and this is what you end up nice with here. So yes. again, it could be a dip, it could be a comment on the sandwich, mm -hmm. but like you said, you can even thin it out for a salad. Mm -hmm. So this is the summer, you said seasonally, you add some things right to the menu, Right. you always yeah. have your desserts. We always have these desserts, yes. So this is a little variety of what was in our, in our display case today. Um, these are all sweet, except for the center pastry is our little individually sized quiche. That's a quiche? I was wondering yes. what it was. Yes, it was a, quiche a quiche with bacon. <laughs> no, that's a savory pastry yeah. those are very very popular off of our catering menu we get so many orders for the quiche breakfast empanadas mini pastries for breakfast so we are available to cater for offices during the week or parties on the weekend okay catering and all the things and in the second half of the show we're gonna make your famous cookies yes here. okay mm -hmm. all right back to you Mike and Fiona Thank you. everything oh it's so delicious there oh, remember yes. the lemon bars one time years ago yes yes, yes. So oh. light. thank you Jen